What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below, and then we get a what, babe? You guys will get a shout out in the next video. That is right, and as you guys can, I'm sure, tell by our energy, especially mine, I'm not in the happiest, excited mood, and that is because of the clip that you saw right before us. Basically, yeah, as you guys saw, my car is gone. I sold it, I got an offer that I couldn't refuse, and they came and they took it and now we have no car yep <laughs> we literally have no car so now it's like uber everywhere and if you guys don't know that i don't have a car well now you do <laughs> yeah, she sold her car a while back then. i sold my car when i was healing for my rhinoplasty literally on day two of my rhinoplasty i was in bed and isaiah like handled all of the selling of my car yeah but you sold your car not because you wanted to but because you had to because yes. it was turning into a lemon it was, it, it was going bad yeah my car was just taking a shit on me and, and i had to let it go a nice watery one yeah, <laughs> yeah and i bad. literally had invested like five thousand and then i like to fix it and it still had issues, and I looked it up on Kelly Blue Book, and my car wasn't even worth that much. Yeah. Um, so I decided it was best to let it go. And you guys are probably wondering, oh, why'd you start fixing it if you knew it wasn't worth the money? And I was like, well, it was because that was her dream car, and, you know, if you can help it, why not, and keep it. And I like older cars, preferably, so yeah, I didn't want to get a new Mini Cooper. But wait, time out. Why are we talking know. about your car? We're supposed to be talking about my car. Anyway, that just segues into my car is gone, bro. Problem. My car is gone. She's gone, and I don't even know how to feel. I feel like I'm dead inside, but at the same time, I did it for the greater good. But and guys, I gave the car away because I have something like really big planned ahead, and I'm just trying to do everything that I can to make sure what I have planned ahead works out. And I feel like step one was getting rid of the car. Especially for an offer that they gave me that I couldn't refuse. Yeah. I know it's gonna suck having to Uber everywhere. And especially if we have to vlog something. We I can't... mean, we still have my mom. Like, she, my mom has two cars. Like, my stepdad and my mom, and since they live together, they only use, like, one car most of the time. So you guys might catch us in her car some of the times. I don't know. I don't want to rely on her just because I'm not that type of person. I don't like relying and using other people's stuff. So majority of the time, we are going to be in Ubers. Um, I can't promise that the vlogs are going to be the same in the meantime. They're still going to be fun. They're still going to be entertaining. We're still going to try to make vlogs for you guys but for right now we're just like sacrificing because there is a bigger picture that we're both working towards all i'm saying is that what i got planned ahead no one is gonna know no one has an idea of what i'm doing i'm gonna catch so many people off guard i feel like i'm going back to my roots what oh you're you already giving it away you're no because they don't know what that means i've had so many cars in my life i i could how many cars have i had maybe like, like six no not od <laughs> Uh, maybe like six, mm -hmm. six cars I would say I've had in my lifetime and I started driving like what five? No, 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 no. I started driving like six years ago. So I've been averaging Legally. like one car. Shh. <laughs> I've been averaging one car per year since I started driving. Mm -hmm. That's bad. But I bad? feel like I'm going back to my roots. I've had it all. I've, went, I've done Japanese cars. I've done American cars. I've done German. I don't feel like anyone's going to guess as to what I'm going to. Honestly, the Mustang I'm going to miss tremendously because I personally wanted a Mustang and I just love the look of it and that was my favorite car that Isaiah's owned. So it's kind of sad seeing him get rid of it. And if anything, that was probably my best sounding car. That car just screamed. It was V8. I loved it so much, but again, I got an offer I couldn't refuse. And overall, it was probably the most reliable car that I've ever owned. That car never gave me any problems. It was such low mileage, but... I'm on to bigger and better things. If you guys can guess as to what you think I'm gonna be getting next, leave it down in the comments below. Whoever gets it right will be getting the next post notification shout out. I guess that's it for today's video. We really just wanted to inform you guys on our life, obviously. We have to take these brief pauses and like catch you up on what's happening because sometimes we make choices and you guys are like, wait, but what happened to this? What happened to that? So. We did want to take this opportunity to let you guys know kind of what was going on with that. Do you know what I'm getting next? No. You don't know? You don't have a guess or anything? Mm -mm. I'm telling you, man, I'm catching so many people off guard. And that's going to be like my car that I like build, build. Like I go like the whole nine yards with. I'm, I'm telling you, my next one's going to be crazy. Okay. 
But anyway, guys, yeah, there's not really much else to talk about. We just wanted to give you this update and let you know that my baby's gone. It's really starting to hit now. All right, let's not anyway, get emotional. Anyway, guys, yeah, that is it for today's video. Um, Give this video a thumbs up if you guys are excited for what's to come next. And we will see you guys in the next video. Love you, all, fam.